water. Water is absolutely amazing. The more that is learned about water, the more we should appreciate how special it is. Every living thing on earth, from bacteria to humans, needs water to survive. Recently, scientists discovered a rock in Canada that's over 4.3 billion years old. Water is older than that. It has been around almost as long as Earth has orbited the sun. The amazing thing about water is that we have the same amount of water today that was on Earth over 4 billion years ago. Although it is true, it's crazy to think that the water we drink today from a water fountain could be the exact water that went through a dinosaur's body millions of years ago. Earth's surface is 70% water. It would seem like there is a lot of water when looking at the Earth's oceans. But 97% of the water on the planet is salt water. Of the remaining 3%, only a fraction is safe for drinking. Even though water is a continuous cycle cleaning and replenishing itself, there is a limited amount of water for all living things to share. All the 7 billion people living today have less than 1% of Earth's water to share for basic needs. Water is a daily resource. You use it every day. Water is available in different places, like at home, on vacation, and communities, too. Since there is water everywhere, do you ever wonder where the water you use comes from? Well, it comes from underground sources, as well as a surface water source. All humans think that water is a source that is very easy to get. But it's not. But a healthy person needs to drink approximately 8 glasses per day, which is 2.5 liters to stay healthy. Water covers more of the earth, even when only 1% is drinkable. So if you're stuck on a boat, you will feel so dry that you can't drink the water around you and you will feel very tempted. A person can live about a month without food, but you can't live a week without water. So, you would dehydrate and die. So there are many different ways humans use water. There are many ways we can pollute water, like factories and mills dumping their waste into the river, and that's how many rivers like the Nashu and the Sago River got so polluted. The Saigo River was so polluted it went on fire 15 times! About 450 cubic kilometers of wastewater is dumped into coastal areas by rivers and streams every day. There are so many ways these factories mistreat water and over 400 million people live in places which suffer water shortages. Almost all of river water known is polluted. Even famous rivers are polluted. Farmers treat water very badly. They fertilize the plants on small aircrafts and when it rains, the fertilizer gets into the rivers and fishes get the chemical in them. An animal eats the fish and it goes on and on. Oil spills can affect the water too, so that's really bad. So please try not to spill oil and other things into rivers, lakes, and oceans. These are the bad ways to treat water. If you treat water well, it would provide as lifelong supply of refreshing, clear, and clean water you need. You should treat water like a friend, a very special friend, as if you are good to it, it will be good to you. In these days, factories don't even care about water. They think it's just a useless, big garbage bin. Imagine if you had a big, clear pond with animals and fish just in front of your house. Sadly, if people keep polluting and throwing garbage in the rivers, and lakes, the clear ponds might even be impossible. So that's what I have to say. The water cycle is never ending, which means it will never stop. The water cycle has three stages, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Evaporation is the first stage. 
Evaporation is when water is soaked up by the sun and turns into vapor. Condensation is the second stage. Condensation is when the water vapor turns into cloud. Precipitation is the third and last stage. Precipitation is when the clouds will turn the water vapor into rain, hail, sleet, snow, snowflakes. So come on, make the change. Let's preserve water together.